Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to explain what Dirac's theorem is. Now, Dirac's theorem was proposed by Gabriel A. Dirac. So it states that in a connected graph with at least three vertices and with no multiple edges, if n is the number of vertices in the graph and every vertex has a degree of at least n over 2, then the graph must be Hamiltonian. So we can use the Dirac's theorem in order for us to determine if a graph is Hamiltonian. Now, let's take this example. This graph represents the available flights of a small air airline. So, an edge between two vertices in the graph means that the airline has direct flights between the two corresponding cities. So, for example, Portland to Reno, so we have an edge connecting the vertex of Portland and of Reno. So, therefore, this edge represents the direct flights of these two um, cities. So we could say that Portland and Reno has direct flight. Now, the number of vertices in this graph is we have six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six vertices. And every vertex of the graph has a has a degree of at least n over 2 equals 3. So it has a degree of at least 3. So at least half of the number of vertices. So for example, in Portland, it has a degree of 3. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So in Butte, it has a degree of at least 3. So we have this 3. So 1, 2, 3. In Boise, it has a degree of 4. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So if we count the degree of every vertex in this graph, so it is at least half of the number of vertices. So by the Dirac's theorem, we could say or we could tell that the graph is Hamiltonian because we have met the conditions of the Dirac's theorem. So for us to tell that this graph is Hamiltonian. Now, since this graph is Hamiltonian, then we could find a Hamiltonian circuit in this graph. A Hamiltonian graph is a graph that contains a Hamiltonian circuit. So let's try to find one. So for example, uh, we have here if we start at vertex Portland. So if we start here and then we go to Boise, to Butte, to Salt Lake City, to Reno, to Sacramento, and then we uh, went back to Portland. So this is a Hamiltonian circuit. So again, this graph is Hamiltonian because this graph has met the conditions of the Dirac theorem and this graph also contains a Hamiltonian circuit. So we could also have this one. So if we start here in Portland and then we go to Reno, to Boise, to Butte, to Salt Lake City, to Sacramento, and then Portland. So this graph is Hamiltonian. Now, one of the limitations of the Dirac's theorem is that if it is not the case that every vertex has degree of at least n over 2, then the graph may or may not be Hamiltonian. So, in other words, if the conditions of the Dirac's theorem are not met, so the graph could still be uh, Hamiltonian or not. So, the Dirac's theorem will not tell us if the graph is not Hamiltonian. So it only helps us in determining if a particular graph is Hamiltonian, but it will not tell us if it is not. So that is one of its limitation. Okay, so I hope that you are able to understand the concept of the Dirac's theorem. That's all for now. Thank you. More power and let's keep learning.